Yeah, good one, Jared. Yeah, big dog, swing him up. Look at the elite at throw that. just kick butt. Boom! So I know that the punching deal kind of originated from the Delta. And then, you know, everybody was plastics and heavy weights and whatever basically they could get into the grass. And then Paycheck and yourself came up with a with a punch skirt. And now that's, I mean, that's that's the deal. You know what, It it for me, uh, <laughs> I was a jig guy. I know you are a jig guy. I know you believe and read the same book. So unable to fish jigs around grass and snot and everything that was at the Delta, you just couldn't drop that big jig. And when you could drop the big jig through the mats, the grass would still loop over the line tie between the weed guard and the line tie. Yeah, um, it, was a mess. It, it just wasn't exactly what you wanted. But man, if you ever got it through and you got one, it was a big one. Yeah, you'd catch them. So, you know, the punch skirt kind of was born. It was really rough. Um, you know, some of the first ones were, were terrible. Um, when, we, when we released the punch skirt, it really kind of took the, the tackle industry by storm in a crazy way. I mean, before that, nobody had really keyed in on making specialized tackle for punching, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. other than maybe Andre or, or a couple other companies. So it was, uh, it was a good thing for me. I guess timing is what I'm saying. Timing is everything, and it was the right time to have a new bait that worked and, and was fishable. Uh, uh, the unfortunate size, side is it brings a lot of copycats and a lot of other people, you know, making the same bait because it is so new and, you know, new things in bass fishing are exciting. Um, right. But this still is the best. And there are a lot of reasons why, uh, number one reason, our bead is one of a kind. Oh, uh, yeah, the noise it makes when no, you, I mean, dude. just like when you're popping your rod tip, it, I mean, it sounds like a little crawfish. You the, know? the material I mean, we use is different than everyone deal. else's, and we still hand tie everything. And, you know, some guys say, well, you know, hand tied, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't care what you say or who you are. If you fish jigs, you know that when your skirt's hand tied on there, your jig's just a little more deadly. Absolutely. So now every punch skirt's hand tied, no matter what. Um, we're up to about 17 colors now. We have a, uh, a lot of exclusive colors. I know Tackle has two or three exclusive colors, and they constantly are working with us, you know, trying to keep new colors coming. They're like everybody else, you know. They want the new stuff, and they want it to work, and they want it to be good the first time. Yeah, yeah. And we've been really fortunate uh, in Paycheck Baits to to produce quality baits and to have the response that we've, we've had. Mm -hmm. um, the colors, you know, making these colors sometimes is a chore. I know I have a lot of new colors and I'm always calling you, especially a lot of guys, you know, saying, well, what do you think about that? Well, what if you had this? Well, what if you had that? Because again, it's just me dreaming up these colors and then, and then sending ideas or writing down the colors I want to try and Skirts Plus kind of, you know, working with me to build these colors. Now, in the downside, it kind of makes it better for everybody because everybody's got new skirt colors to try, but somebody's got to make them, you know what right, I mean? Right, right. Well, and, and you know, the, these things are so versatile, you know. Oh, oh, dude. Did you have one? Yep. He almost jerked the rod out of my hand. Wow. Where was he, like right there? He's right in the backside of that mat. Um, and that was on a new color we have. It's not even out yet. It's a, it's a hot tip, almost like a three-dimensional skirt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, the color making process is the longest, the thing that takes the most time, I, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, but uh, I mean, these, these things, <clears throat> you know, I know we're punching and, and it is a punch shirt. I mean, that's the whole deal. But I've kind of been, for instance, at uh, Lake Gunnersville this past year on the elites, I was punching just, or not even punching, I was flipping the 3 8 weight with a punch skirt and a, and a chigger craw on it. And I mean, dude, I went down the set of docks and, and some little bit of sparse grass, but not mats, not mm -hmm. mats at all. And I crushed them. And in practice, I'd gone through there with, with a just a regular plastic bait, just flipping, and I had like two bites. In the term, I just smoked them through there. So, See, I mean, it's, it's not just, it is a punch skirt, but I've been putting them on everything, like to, everything. To me, that means a lot because when a guy like you can, you know, who fishes for a living, everything revolves around how much you weigh in at the end of the day. When you can pick up a new bait and go to a place you've been before and an area where you know there should be fish and you're not really getting bit and you can put a bait on and go to work, to me that means a lot. I mean, that oh, speaks yeah. volumes. So, I mean, we try to appeal to tournament anglers, make tournament tackle for tournament fishermen so they can have an easier job out there putting big ones in the boat. And so far, I think we've done it. You've got the big one. You got her. Oh. Yes, swing it on in, brother. Boom! That's a little guy. That's not a I punch fish, it. but I mean, it's, yes, it is. Know, it's a fish. The rule is, if they bite, you got to jerk. I don't make the rules, okay? <laughs> I mean, that's just the bottom line. Good fish, man. Did he thump it? They're just, I mean, you know, with that heavy weight, a lot of times you'll feel, you think you're on grass, 
So the worst thing you can do is check it. So, I mean, it, you know, it, it kind of takes a while getting used to it. But uh, basically, if there's any resistance when, when I go to pop my rod, I got to set. I mean, right. So you're ready, you're ready to pull the trigger from the initial pickup. I am. I mean, that's 90% of your bites are going to occur on the fall. That fish, I hopped it like twice and it just stopped. Mm -hmm. Grass isn't going to stop a one and a half ounce weight. So Absolutely. I knew, I mean, it had to be a bite. So, so you know, the right equipment. Um, oh, he came God. through the mat. That one actually oh came up God. through. I'm poaching him. <laughs>